When I made my last video about ChatGPT, everyone told me that they were also using it to help them write calculations better. So I came across a use case today that I wanted to show you. And so in this video, we're gonna see if ChatGPT can help us answer this problem. As ever, let's get stuck in. So here we are, I've got a paragraph of text in every single row, and inside of that text, I've got an email address. If you haven't noticed, you can see there's an email address pretty much uh, in inconsistent places throughout this whole text. And the result I want is to be able to track, to extract the email from that. So it's a separate column, and then I can work with that email to maybe go and send a message to everyone. Let's say this is from a form and people put their emails in the text field because they're happy to be responded to. You could get this in a survey by mistake and need to be able to go and either replace the emails, maybe you need to clean up the data to remove sensitive information. Whatever you're trying to do, you just need to find this email and extract it. So the problem you have here is that there are tools in Tableau that can do this. And if you don't know what they are, you would never go to Google and ask the question about how to use those tools. The simplest way you'd ask the question is to simply ask, uh, how can I extract this email from a paragraph of text? And so that's what I'll go and do. And I'll first do it on, on Google. So how can I extract an email from a paragraph of text in Tableau? Okay. And I think I've got the question right. Yep. And the first uh, response is a Tableau community. It just shows how useful the Tableau community pages are. Uh, Google sends you to a, a community post where someone's asked this in June of 2022, so very recently. And um, what someone has done, uh, here we go. Yeah, I was looking for someone who just posted the answer in code. You can see that someone's actually posted that, and you can see they're using something called the regex uh, p extract and they're using the end function to essentially, I think, return the first email in essence. So you now know sort of what function you're gonna use. If you've never heard of that, you might then go and uh, copy that and put that into Tableau, and then you'll come across this, which will uh, tell you what the regex functions do, and you can learn more about regular expressions. It actually sends you off to another uh, page here, which is, I think, not Tableau's website. It's gonna be, if I just hover over the link, what website is that? Userguide.icu. So this is the official documentation for regex um, in the icuproject.org, and essentially it sort of talks about uh, text handling. Now, that's all great, but you don't necessarily have the time to go and learn regex to just implement it on this one column. You're kind of looking to do your solution really, really quickly. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go back to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this question and we're going to go back to Google and just paste that in. Uh, I could I could help this by spelling extract correctly. How can I extract an email from a paragraph of text in Tableau? Let's not uh, click on my face. Let's hit the enter button and put this down and see what ChatGPT says. Remember, Google sent us the community post, which we scroll down and we found a solution. The solution told us that there was a function we didn't know about called regex p extract. We went to the documentation and we found the answer. So the three or four steps. So it starts giving us an answer. Now, I've noticed that some of the questions, uh, some of these violate what's called their content policy. So uh, if you don't think it does violate the content policy, which I don't think this does, um, I think I'll just go ahead and hit the feedback, but let's look and see what it's saying. So it's saying drag the column containing text to the columns or row shelf in Tableau, right click on the column and select extract. Uh, and then you want to select regular expression. In the regular expression dialog box, enter the regular expression for email addresses, which is typically this, and it's given us the example text. Click okay to extract the email address from the text. You can then use the extracted email address in your analysis or visualization. So let's go ahead and follow exactly what it says. So drag the column containing text to the columns or row shelf. So let's go ahead, we've already got that in here. And the next step uh, it's saying is right click on the column and select extract. And you can uh, basically give it regular expression. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the formula here and we can just go back. So go ahead, right click, and it's asking us to select extract. Now, that's not an option in here, okay? And it's not something you can do. And I did wonder where it was going. I thought, is there is there like a hidden feature I've never known to exist? And it's just not there. So in this case, it's giving us a convincingly wrong answer, but it's also given us a formula. So maybe what we can do is we can go ahead and put that formula into the tool and find out if it's actually working or not. So let's go ahead and right click, create calculated field, 
And what we want to do is uh, paste the formula. Now, this is the formula it's given us. Now, it's not given it to us in the context of Tableau, which is also not useful. So let's go ahead and type in regex extract. And if we paste that in there, what we'll need to do is just finish the function. Let me just make this larger so you can see this more clearly. And the way regex extract works is you need to call it with a string. And in this case, it's going to be our test field. We'll just put that there. We'll put a comma and then we'll put the regex itself that's being called. And uh, now that we've done that, we can just expand this a little bit so it's easier for everyone to see this. And uh, the last thing we need to do is just put a speech marks around all of this because this is uh, essentially a formula. So now that that's done, you see we have a valid calculation. So this is the uh, the formula it gave us. And if we hit apply, you can see that, uh, let's go to get calculation one and put it next to test field. You can see that it does not work because you can see there's a bunch of nulls. Now I know this doesn't work because I think sometimes what Tableau wants is it wants something called a capture group. So if I go ahead and just explain this to you, if I put a brackets in front of it, in regex, when you put a brackets around something, you're essentially describing a group of patterns that you want to capture. And so that's known as a capture group. And I, I seem to recall through past experience with Tableau and regex that you need a capture group for this function to work. So if I go ahead and hit apply, uh, let's go ahead and hit apply. And you can see that has worked. It has gone ahead and got the answer. So all in all, was this a knockout performance for ChatGPT? No, because I had crucial bits of information that I used to kind of get this going. It also gave me the wrong instructions as to how to do this. Now, is it because my question was poor? Could I have asked it this? Um, how can I write a formula in Tableau that extract, extracts emails from a paragraph of text, okay? If I just go ahead and clean up my awful spelling and hit uh, enter, it might do this a better job of this. And it might also have less complaints about the content policy. I don't know what that's about. So here we go. In Tableau, you can write a formula to extract email address from a paragraph of text using the regex extract function. Okay. The syntax for this function is this. That's correct. Where string is a column containing text and pattern is a regular expression. For email addresses, a regular expression for email addresses is typically, is this the same as the one it gave us before? I believe it is. Yes. And uh, the, to extract email address from a column called text, you would use the following formula. <coughs> and it does indeed go and give us the whole formula. What it doesn't do is it doesn't add that brackets that I added. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and add that and we'll see that this should work. So you can then drag this column to column or shelf to create a new column containing the extracted email address. No, this is a general guide on how to extract an email address from a paragraph of text using Tableau. If your data has different format for email addresses, you may need to adjust regular expressions accordingly. Okay, well, that's that's useful. So um, if I go ahead and grab this, we'll go back to Tableau and let me just do this. Okay. If I paste it here, you can see that it is more or less uh, the same um, formula. Now this one used regexp. This one's just using regex. So have I, have I misunderstood something? I think, I think Tableau have like a, a secret, um, uh, what's the word? Sometimes Tableau will have secret functions that it, it basically won't pull you up for using. So if I, if I actually do this, let's just comment out this line. You'll see, it will say that this is incorrect, uh, unknown function. So yes, this does need to actually be correct. I thought it was going to let me get away with that, but it didn't. So there you go. It does need the P. So it's interesting that it even got the function incorrect. It got the wrong function in the text. So you can see this here. And so like, you know, how close did this really get me to the answer? Bearing in mind the top one is correct. That's the one that I sort of troubleshooted. And um, if I put the test fill there, again, it didn't have the brackets, which is really important in this particular scenario because the capture groups, I think, don't make this work. The regex itself, the, the, the core of what it wrote is actually, you know, pretty much bang on. It will do the job. You can see it's working over here. 
But it just shows the sort of challenge of using something like ChatGPT. I think it will get you 80% of the way there, but it's really important to know that that final 20% is probably the most important part of this to make this work. So you could use it to help you diagnose what's going wrong. Maybe you already know what you need to do, but you want to check it against something like this. I think absolutely fine. Now, let's say you found this formula inside of uh, your Tableau workbook and you wanted to understand how this works. Let's start a new chat and say, so let's just ask this, um, explain what this uh, formula does. Okay, you don't know it's called regex. You don't know, you didn't give it the context of Tableau. So let's just go ahead and see if it can figure it out. The formula is a regular expression that is used to match and validate email addresses. It's used to check whether a given string is in the proper format of an email address. Specifically, the regular expression will match any string that contains one or more characters. Okay, so it's given us a, a good description of what that formula does. And what it didn't do is explain it in detail. So one of the things you can do is you can ask a follow-up question and say, explain that in more detail. Okay, and this is, I think, the most useful part of ChatGPT. Uh, of course it goes sure um so sure this regular expression can be broken down into several parts and then it basically takes each part so it's taking this first part and it's explaining that in a lot more detail than it did before uh, then it's going to the at and then it's going to go to the next section which is just here uh, and then after that it will um go to the very final section i forgot to add the Plus, but it also actually interestingly it also talks about the period in there, a period that must follow the domain name. That is actually pretty important in this particular uh, uh, sort of example. And yeah, it's breaking it down in, in I think really really good detail. I, you know, I'd still need to kind of go away and try this for myself. What I'd recommend you do is if you were going to use this for regex, is you take this, go to something like regex one hundred and one, you paste the sample of your data as I've already done here and you paste that in and you see that it's actually matching the email addresses. This way you can validate that it's doing what it's supposed to do. You can test it without sort of mucking around with real data set. And now that you've got this, you can uh, you know, put a capture group around it all. So let's go ahead and do that uh, by putting brackets um, as you're supposed to. It goes green because you know, Tableau's saying, uh, sorry, Regex is noticing that it's a capture group. Um, this website, Regex 101, does a really good job of explaining uh, regex as well. So if you see if you expand uh, this, you'll see that, look, this is the first capture group and it's basically telling you that first capture group is broken down into this particular uh, set of uh, explanations. So you've got uh, one matches a single character present in the list, the at sign, uh, the next character, the full stop, and then the last one. So there's five steps. And to be fair, those are the same five that ChatGPT sort of break down. And when you select these sort of small arrows, you get these uh, nice capabilities to basically explain what's going on. So uh, a tool like Regex 101 is also doing this kind of explanation, but it does it in a little bit more detail, almost too much detail, and it's a little bit more intimidating than using something like ChatGPT. But, you know, as a use case, this is a good example of how it could help you get to an answer and how it could help you validate that what you're doing is correct. But as you've seen, it wasn't perfect. There was a couple of stumbling blocks and man, when this technology gets better, I, I'm just I'm just going to be so interested to see how it's used, not just in terms of helping people do their work, but also companies must be thinking of putting this technology inside of their software to help people better understand their software as a way of working. Anyway, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know what you think of ChatGPT and Regex. How are you using it? What other creative use cases have you got? I've seen people do lots of different things from creating dummy data sets to SQL to run on their database it's absolutely sort of tearing through software and code development everywhere. So yeah, check out, check out the videos on many other channels, more advanced than this one, uh, covering how it works. And yeah, let me know what you find and what you find interesting. I'll catch you in the next one.